Hello and welcome back, everybody, for game four of day one, America's Challengers. We have WAP taking to the stage for the second time up against first time appearance of Fear X Starforge, our seed two from NACL. To make it into the playoff stage. Now, the rosters here for Fear X Starforge flip in the top lane, who's been a rock in the top side, but not necessarily the biggest carry. But if you look at XU in the jungle, now that's a carry, that's an engine who can drive a team. XU notably coming into tier two. A Blaze Olive as well back in tier two. <laughs> He's happy to be here as he has also been a past LCS player at this level. Speaking of, we also have Instinct in the bottom lane getting <laughs> fanned by A Blaze Olive. These guys are having a good time. Oh yeah, you love to see it. And A Blaze Olive has said before, he's never been to South America. <laughs> Wins oh, I, you can see that smile behind that face there. Winsome is ready. And I think I like it with this fear composition that they have. You've got already... Every time I see that Amumu and Shuhari? Flash forward from Winsome, getting aggressive onto Kindless, but now it turns back onto Shuhari. As... Oh, Kindless! Ooh, kindless. Getting aggressive with his flash, dodging out on the Qs, and now he's stunned up. How is this gonna go? go it's so close, back and forth, but first blood to Shuhari. Lock Philip down, has Diddy nearby. Are they gonna go for the dive? Exhaust is in, Thorin tanks up the turret, is gonna have to run away as flash from Philip means that Diddy nice. will get the kill and the resets and get out of there. Successful dive from WAP as okay. Winsome falls bot lane. Every yeah, time. nobody's even it's looking great. at him. He's just doing it even in the, in the fall of war. Just for fun as, ooh, Shuhari oh. is here, but Equalizer goes down. QQ more just popped. Objective control belonging to Furex Starforge despite the earlier kills oh. going to the side of WAP. Speaking of, Thorin might just look for another one. Throws out the Ghost as Ragnarok and will pop that with the exhaust as well. Equalizer will do a lot of damage though as Thorin has to run away. That is ultimate. Okay. And two well. Flash forward for Phil with the Ignite. He's just gonna burn Thorin down. Says, hey, uh, nice counter pick there. I'll just take a solo kill. They should be able to cap all of them. Fear Starforge don't look like they really want to. Actually, Ooh. never mind. They are committing to this. Ooh, X, who actually buffers the Lily ult with his own. Winsome's on the front line oh, and a teleport from a Blaze Olive. Gets the smolder, the what? first kill. Flashing forward, slowing down Kindless. Turn attention onto QQ. Okay. Double kill to the baby dragon, a Blaze Olive. Well, let's talk about the shoe on the other foots then, because Kindless is also slowly amassing himself a bit of a gold lead, as they're actually catching Philip out right now. Equalize goes down, and QQ Moore is not positioning on the other side of the wall, so it's going to allow instead Thor to come in. Philip should go down. No, he doesn't. He said? Are you kidding me? Philip's getting out of the there. There's just no way. Theorex Starforge, they no, save their top later. Oh, Shuhari! Oh, he gets oh, no! <laughs> Philip lives! A burden, what's it saying? A burden hands worth two in the bush, and unfortunately, Fear chased both and got neither. Maybe trying to get his own bird right here. Flip one to Philip as he jumps in and does not get Ooh. it. Even flashes forward. Philip oh is just goodness. living on razor thin margins. Call him Sweeney Todd because he's just barely getting out of there. <laughs> okay, we'll, we'll try and work some of these in here. Philip might be out of position yet again. Songs. Okay, fool me once, shame Ooh. on you. Fool me, fool me twice. I don't know what happens the third okay. time they got him. Okay, Philip goes down. There we go. Wap finally take down Philip. <laughs> they get the rumble. That's what they've been looking for for a while, and they're going to look for even more. Shana Corruption can turn things around. Shuhari's in trouble. Instinct has to flash away from Didi as Shuhari goes down. Curtain Ooh. called the damage, but not enough to get a kill. As now Exu with the resets on the Viego. Dredge line's kindless. That's a flash and a cleanse out of the gin. That's the problem. Philip. Is bait. That much hasn't changed. Oh, Kindless. Oh, Jeez, the Blaze Olive showing Kindless the music of the night as he's going to go sleepy time <laughs> into the fountain. He had that earlier on. A Blaze Olive look anywhere he is. Wap need to be terrified, and they did not give respect there. XU picks up that kill, but again, when a Blaze Olive is on your screen, you just cannot fight him. XU wants even more, though. He's more. just going to go solo mode on a QQ more. XU styling on the Viego. That's what you do when a champion gets bumped. But Edie wins the 1v1 to the side. <laughs> goes out of the Ignite. One for one as Philip and Diddy trade their lives. Oh, wait. It might work. I mean, Winsome. It's going to take a while to kill him, but he he is okay. all alone. Now he sees QQ more. He's going to join in. Just chain CC. QQ more is the one caught. Right now, they're not out of position. They're grouped up 
See Jean onto the turret. Shuhari goes in. Chain of Corruption lands, and they just blow up Diddy. Oh! Up with, with the ult over the top. And now Encore is pulled. Kindless not able to actually get all the damage out there. He's got to back off. Cancels it after two shots because of the threat of Firex Starforge. And WAP will have to go back to the fountain to try and heal back up as the base is crumbling. Firex Starforge go for another engage. And they are just crushing WAP in their own base. Firex Starforge will begin their tournament with a win and deny WAP theirs. Firex Starforge <laughs> take the victory. Happy faces for the team. Their first game of the tournament, and they were able to win it. <laughs> Praise me, Kangas. NA finishes 2-1 for the day. <laughs> yeah, above 50% right there. Can't ask for much more after the uh, showboating that our players were saying online in <laughs> interviews, but a good win nonetheless here for Fear X Star Forge. They lost first blood. They lost a couple of kills early on, but they brought things back. And that's what's important for the team is that they were able to just out execute in the mid to late game, specifically at Blaze Olive at XU. I don't think either of them died at the end of that game. I'm pretty sure both of them were deathless by the time the Nexus yeah. went down. All right, well, we're ready for our post game interview, so let's welcome Philip on to the stream. <laughs> Philip, the top laner for Fear X Starforge, congratulations on the win thank calling you, in you. from Brazil. I got to start off by asking you got counterpicked on the top lane and still solo killed. So, uh, how would you rate your performance, your, your kickoff to an international event? Um, yeah, I mean, this is my first international event. I was honestly pretty comfortable playing this matchup because. I used to play this matchup a lot with Faisal, who's like obviously a really good Olaf, right? So I was really prepared for it. Uh, obviously, he did the Quacker style, the Ghost Exhaust. So yep. I mean, yeah, I was. I feel like there's a lot of good Olaf players in NACL, so I wasn't really worried. For sure. And now, for the, in this tournament especially, there's a lot of big top laners. You saw Zamudo, uh, you know, lose to Hidan earlier today. So. I'm curious for you, like where, how do you think the top laners stack up and who are you most looking forward to playing against? Um, yeah, obviously Zamudo is very, very good, especially since um, he kind of like dismantled me in that finals. <laughs> uh, obviously, I'm excited to play with him again, but the top laner he played against Hidan, I know this guy from NA solo queue not a while ago because he was playing ago. in Latin America uh, last split <sighs> and he was very high rated in solo queue and um, uh, yeah, I thought he was very good, and obviously he showed that in the game against Dragonsteel. So, yeah, I'm excited to play versus him too. Alright, well thank you so much for coming on and chatting with us, Philip. We're going to let you get going and celebrate your win while we continue on with the show. So, thank you very much for taking the time. Well, it is time now to unveil our MVP from that last game, which is oh. XU. Again, we didn't talk about him uh, too much throughout the entire game, but when you look at the impactful moments and uh, his ability to just continually farm up the jungle camps, get all the grubs, get all the dragons, like X he just controlled the rift.